Uh, Mr. Antonopoulos, thanks for coming and thanks for your answers so far. Uh, who are Bitcoin's biggest detractors, and why are they why why do they why are they uh, enemies of uh, of Bitcoin? I'm not sure who are Bitcoin's biggest detractors. I can tell you that I, along with every other passionate advocate I know, started off as a detractor. I think it's important to note that my initial response to first understanding or first identifying Bitcoin was, um, this is nerd money, it can't possibly work. In fact, when Satoshi Nakamoto invented Bitcoin and uh, announced it on the crypto uh, mailing list, everyone around him responded in pretty much the same way. The circle of advocates, which is now numbering in the millions, is consists entirely of people who started out as very strong skeptics. The difference is, the first time I saw it, that was my reaction. The second time I read the paper and understood that this was not a currency, it was a decentralized network model uh, for financial security and trust, which allows currency, but also allows many other things. And that literally blew my mind. And then I understood this was much bigger. So we all started out as skeptics. I don't know if all the skeptics become advocates over time, but I do see that most people who look at Bitcoin carefully very quickly understand that there's a lot more than meets the eye to this. So, uh, what would be Bitcoin's biggest threat to growth? Would it be uh, having people overcome fear of their unknowns? Would it be the security aspect, uh, the level of technology available, or the individual, uh, or the individual nodes that might? not have the security that the whole system has? I think there are some very significant uh, security problems uh, related to the ownership and control of Bitcoin keys and Bitcoin wallets for the end user. The simple truth is that we've been doing information security for a handful of decades. and As an industry, that industry is not very effective at doing it, whether that's trying to protect credit card numbers or Bitcoin for the end user. The nice thing about Bitcoin is that that risk is compartmentalized so that there is no systemic risk. Over time, I think we're going to see the development of more secure mechanisms like hardware wallets, <coughs> such as the, the ones that are beginning to appear in the market today. And so for every problem I see in Bitcoin, as an entrepreneur, I simultaneously see a tremendous opportunity. I think uh, if you go back and look at the history of disruptive technologies like this, in 1994, there were dozens and dozens of articles about how the internet would fail because no one would be able to ever find anything on the internet. Um, you know, Sergey Brin and Larry Page decided that was an opportunity, not a problem. I think with Bitcoin, each one of these problems also is possibly a very innovative new financial industry that can offer solutions. Okay, thank you. I have one more question, Chair, if I may. So, of the millions of users of Bitcoin currently, who would be who would who would constitute the biggest user group? International financial transactions, or what? Like, who's the who's the who's the the biggest user now, or the the one with the highest plurality? Well, honestly, I think there are a few statistical surveys that provide some insight into that. Um, I'm not sure about the exact numbers. I think the most common use for Bitcoin is charitable giving, donations, and tipping. And I would say probably the demographic at the moment is very similar to the early internet, which uh, is a very narrow demographic of technology professionals. Um, there's a lot of nerds in this space. I can say that for sure. But uh, it just follows any uh, the same path as any other technology. It's becoming more and more broadly um, appealing to a broader demographic over time. For me, the most interesting thing is not what Bitcoin can do for uh, Western developed countries, because we have fairly sophisticated banking systems. I am fascinated by the idea of being able to deploy Bitcoin on a Nokia feature phone uh, in Kenya, in Lagos, Nigeria, and bringing online to a global economy people who have never had access to financial services with international credit, and who could now be connected uh, to everyone else in the world on an equal footing. That is very exciting to me, and I think that's where the greatest need lies uh, that Bitcoin can fulfill. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Senator Wells.